Hello, comrades, comrades, today with the third episode of the Rise of Djibouti. That's right. And as I promised you last time, we're gonna go to war with Kenya. That's right, we've been building up our army, and uh, the Kenyans as well have also been building up their army. So, you know, things have been getting a little hairy. But, we, again, we have been preparing for this moment for oh so long. And as such, war will be brought to the, to the, to the enemy, as it were. Um, so, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our, our little battle lines here. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna use them, if at all. But, it's good to have them anyway. So we have two generals, Alexander Evans and John Williams. That's right, the dude who wrote the Star Wars soundtrack is, uh, gonna be defending our front lines. Yes, like the bad son of a bitch that he is. Now, the Kenyans, as we know, are a very, very well-entrenched enemy force. They've been kind of scaring us over the past couple of years. But now, finally, it is our opportunity to prove them that we are the greater African country. And that all others pale in comparison to the great Djibouti. That's right. The whole time, we're planning on uh, continually building additional defenses in the... Uh, in the area between Gambela, Somalia, and Kenya. Um, and honestly, it's so heavily entrenched that it makes the Magano line look like a sandcastle. So, yeah. We are deeply entrenched. And if they want to be, if they want to go on the offensive, it's gonna be nasty, to say the least. Alright, so, our units are ready. We are ready. And it is now time for war. Djibouti goes to war with Kenya, and uh, here's to hoping that we actually win this war, because things could get pretty awkward pretty fast if we do not. Now, there's a couple things to keep in mind about this situation. The Kenyans are heavily entrenched, they have more troops than us, so we are indeed outnumbered, but it'll be uh, pretty obvious to see that we have air superiority, with over 300 fighters flying over the skies of uh, Kenya, there's not a whole lot they can do. The initial uh, attack is, or the initial plan is they're going to attack us. We're going to let them come at us because they're going to lose horribly. As you literally just saw there, they stood absolutely no chance against our heavily, our, our very organized and uh, effective forces. As a matter of fact, our troops barely even flinched. 4,000 Kenyans lost their lives in the first day alone. That is something else. See, look, they're still trying to come at us and still just losing horribly. 40,000 Kenyans in the first day. The first day of the war. 40,000 Kenyans died. Wow, that is this just that is heartbreaking actually. That's kind of it's kind of bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to split up our forces and we're going to push into the enemy interior. Uh, they're going to continue pushing on to us, but thankfully that they're not going to have any success with that. Our forces are going to come up right behind the rear. Uh, missing equipment production. We need to produce more bombers. Uh, but, 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 what would a bomber be in this game? Where they're literally Gen 4 bomber. I'm blind as an effing bat. All right. So we've got that. We're going to produce at least one of them bad mamma jammas. Yeah, so we're only going to be producing two bombers a year, but that's fine. Bombers really aren't my thing. Uh, seriously? The U.S. is... Do they close their economy? The U.S. must have closed their economy. Well, that's not good. I'm going to need people to stop closing their economies, please, and thank you. Uh, we need your precious resources in order to fuel our wars. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and start uh, justifying war against Uganda. And we're going to go to war with them very soon here. All right, so we're pushing into Kenya. This is actually going way better than I initially expected. I actually feel like I, I kind of built up this this war with Kenya because I thought they had a really large army sizes that it was going to be much much harder than it's it's proving to be. Um, let's see how many how many airplanes have we lost? We've lost eleven fighters and three bombers and only shot down one enemy fighter. Well. That's kind of depressing, but whatever. Our land forces are definitely proving to be more than effective at bringing down the Kenyan forces, who, frankly, are not ready for this assault. Uh, well, they are defending Nairobi. 
their capital. So that's that's good that they're not just letting me steamroll right into their home. <laughs> like, because they're kind of letting me steamroll these territories right now. All right, we're going to push the attack there. We're going to move there. Uh, get this unit moving up through the center. And we're going to get our tanks to hold there. No reason to get severe attrition and lose tanks uh, for fights that don't need to be lost. We might even need to pull back altogether. Did, did, oh, we lost. Did we lose the fight there? Well, one of our units is retreating for some reason, so I guess so. Whatevs. Well, we're going to push onto that now with reinforcements. Uh, we're going to get the additional troops to push in as well. Uh, okay. Yep, that, that went swell. We're actually going to get these troops to hold right here. Why do all these import requests keep failing? What is wrong with you people? Everyone, literally every country is closing their economy. You see that? All those zero resources? Uh, or I'm just not able to trade, I guess. Maybe that's, maybe it's that. Yeah, no, look, they're not closing. They're still on export focuses and stuff like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Russia did close their economy. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I knew it wasn't crazy. All right, so we're going to do three. All right, from Japan. And hopefully Japan doesn't close their economy as well. A lot of these guys, I guess, are just not producing their resources anymore. I wonder what's happening. Maybe they're just building that many troops. What other unfulfilled resource? So tungsten from Russia. All right, and what was the other one? Um, horrible memory. Aluminium. That's right. All right, well, I guess uh, Australia. Be, be my supplier, please. Because, like, shit's getting real out here, and I need equipment. I don't, you know, I, I need a reliable partner who's not going to, you know, fail me in this time of need. What's up with this division? They're just kind of trying to retreat. All right, well, whatever. We're pushing onward. We're taking territory. We overran quite a few divisions just now. Uh, frankly, that was disgusting. The war so far is, wow. <laughs> We've lost 2,000 guys, and we've killed over 172,000 Kenyans. Jesus, this is like the Iraq War. Holy crap. I, I just feel guilty about this. But we're about to take Nairobi, and that should be the fall of the Kenyan military uh, once we take that over. And their country as a whole. Well, I guess not. Maybe they're still holding on. They still have, what was that, Mombasa? Yeah, they still got Mombasa down there. Uh, so I guess we take Mombasa and then we crack a cold one open with the boys. How about that? Don't even, I don't even care what's going on right now. That's just how much of a steamroll this has turned into. Like, uh, a quarter of a million troops killed and only a couple thousand Djiboutians. See, that's how a war should be fought right there. That's, that is how you fight a war against a lesser power. All right, we're going to take all the states and incorporate Kenya into greater Djibouti and look at that our population went jumping up we added on 16 new factories a bunch of new resources to go along with that actually what how many resources did we actually get all right so we got six aluminum we got two uh, uh no sorry six steel two aluminum and two oil so that was a really successful war for us I mean that's not a whole lot of resources but frankly considering if you look at how many resources we're actually generating anyway that's a lot more than we had before, so I'm hardly complaining. Hardly. Um, what is this? Carrier 2? No, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we're just going to keep focusing on building a missile cruiser. We've been building this thing for like two years, so we might actually have one built before the year is over. All right, and we are still... Uh, oh my god, we really need that. Look at all that tungsten in Rwanda. Holy crap, we need Rwanda. Um, so basically, oh my god, we definitely need fucking, what is it, Democratic Republic of Congo? What is it? Yeah, 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 we definitely need that. And then look at all that oil in Congo, oh my god, my ambitions are being ridiculously, like, teased. We also need the Sudan. Sudan's not part of anyone, are they? No, they're Islamic. Uh, there's the is Islamists, so, frankly, not many people are gonna be on their good side anyway. Well, it looks like we actually used up all of our Galils. That's kind of crazy. We need more reinforcements for the Galils. Do I re did I really use up all my Galils in that fight? No. See, we still have 37,000 just hanging out in storage. We're good. We need to worry about that. We're still training some more troops. Let's go ahead and add another line of Sandland Liberators. Uh, we're actually going to have the newest Gen 4 main battle tanks here very soon. 
Uh, so the tanks that we're building right now are already going to be obsolete. We are going to put these dudes on the border there. Uh, and we're going to take John Williams' men. And we're going to put them on the border with, I guess, Tanzia. And we're just going to kind of move in. We're going to start justifying against Tanzia as well. And it's at this point that we can really just start pushing war on people. Uh, we've got a lot of political power. Our army is actually pretty strong. And uh, we are not the biggest douchebag on the block because that would be the United States in, in that respect. Uh, they've, they've pissed off a lot of people and a lot of people do not like them. Uh, but we have outdated equipment, which is our tanks. So we're going to start building Gen 4 main battle tanks. That's going to be thousands of tanks that we have to reproduce. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and open up a new line of tanks and pop that up to the top. Because basically when we get more military factories, that's what I'm going to want to do. Um, what else? What else? So I guess we can just stop building these defensive lines. I don't really care about them anymore if uh, we don't need them. Kenya's maxed out on factories, so we can't build any more factories. Uh, currently, we're pretty much at the whim of the people we conquer in terms of what they built. And hopefully, it'll be good enough for us. Thankfully, we're getting a bunch of extra construction things, so uh, we can use that to trade some goods. Because as you can see here, we need some serious resources. Um, let's see, let's see. We need steel, so we're going to go ahead and get some steel. Uh, we need 31, so... We're already getting that many. There, we're going to trade and get 40. Um, what else do we need? We need aluminum, of course. We're going to get one more factory out there. Uh, we need chromium. We're going to give one more factory out there. We need tungsten, so we're going to give another factory out there as well. Vietnam is actually probably going to end up being our supplier here very soon because they're the only ones who seem to be producing anything. And we need rubber, so we'll do one of those. All right, so that should solve a majority of our resource woes. And at the same time, we don't need all those factories because they're not doing anything anyway. Um, we do want to put radars in Ethiopia and Tigray and Afar. I want to be able to see what Sedan's packing. Uh, we're going to put another fact or another radar in um, Kenya. I can't believe I forgot the name. We just went to war with them. <laughs> As you see, like, infrastructure is maxed out. Dude, honestly, our country is kind of like a paradise right now. A paradise where we go to war and kill people. You know, it's fine. Nothing serious. Uh, get General Dynamics again. I'm basically trying to stay on good terms with the United States so that I could take advantage of the bonuses you get from them. I, I'm digging this large manpower. So that means I can really start focusing. Once we actually get our production rolling more on tanks as well, uh, we can just start producing more tanks. Uh, to go along with our already tanks, and so on. We're actually going to put this one above that. Yeah, we want to we want to make sure that this line gets maximum resources. Um, what else do we need to do? Well, I want to stop building so many Galils, because frankly, we have thirty seven thousand Galils just hanging out. Uh, but we need tanks. That's really what we need. Unfulfilled imports, of course. Kazakhstan is failing us on tungsten. Wait, was it tungsten? No, chromium. I'm stupid. It was chromium. Uh, they closed their borders. But South Africa has got us. And for only the small, small price of four factories. But we'll trade out three to get what we need. Um, -bip -bim -bim. And we're still absolutely uh, disgustingly low on resources. But it is what it is. We can't do too much. Um, yeah, federal funds. And when will the thing for this be done? Wow, we're nowhere near done. It's going to take a long time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I slightly wish I would have went fascist now, just because how fast things get done when you're fascist. Uh, what is this? Delete those orders. I want you to be on this border. I guess that is that is them setting up on the border. Hmm. Depressing. All right, well, I want those tanks to go here. <laughs> I demand it. This is my requirement of you soldiers to do something useful and not waste time. You know, get things done and so on and so forth. Yeah looks wonderful anyway so this has been commissar bro with the third episode of the rise of Djibouti this one's a little bit shorter than the last one because the main focus was going to war with Kenya again we're just we're pretty much just planning to go to war with Uganda Tanzania and eventually Rwanda As a matter of fact I'm gonna go ahead and start justifying against Rwanda as well since it's gonna take a long time anyway so we're justifying against a bunch of people but hopefully the idea is that we will be able to go straight to war with all these guys and take them out in one big war where they pretty much team up against us. 
uh, and we just crush them all. Because honestly, with uh, how that war just went with Kenya, I feel like I am pretty much invincible. So Djibouti is going to go to war with these four countries, and we're going to see what happens next time on the Rise of Djibouti, Hearts of Iron 4.